people that are just starting with their hi-fi speaker journey are often looking for big speakers that don't break the bank, but also sound good and have extended bass. The Borea BR09 from Triangle seems to check all these boxes. Please leave a like and let's dive in. The Borea series of speakers is looking super clean. There are no exposed screws, cheap looking materials or low quality finishes. Instead, they went for a clean, slim aesthetic. It is clear that they are meant to look neutral and don't stand out much in a good way. That makes them easily complement regular living rooms or other places where people with no dedicated listening rooms are going to place them. When you're buying such a budget speaker, it's for a reason. In most cases, it means that you don't have a dedicated, acoustically treated listening room. This French company knows this very well. They don't want you to get these speakers, appreciate their sound, but eventually get rid of them because of how they look. The build quality, despite the speakers being built to a price point, is not bad. The speaker is not heavy, coming at 23 kilograms. Low weight usually indicates lots of resonances, especially in larger speakers. The solution high-end manufacturers usually go for to counter it is to use very heavy and thick cabinets made out of high-density materials. But that costs a lot of money and is going to be impractical for some people. That's why Triangle came up with their driver vibration absorption system, to counteract the unwanted resonances and make the cabinet more inert. It involves adding a back brace to every driver that interacts with the rear of the driver's motor using high-density foam gasket. It is made to reduce driver's suspension vibrations from being transferred to the cabinet. Please subscribe to my channel if you are still watching. In the box you're also getting a wooden pedestal, which not only looks good, but also serves a purpose. First of all, it makes the speaker much more stable, as it's larger than a speaker base. Then it absorbs a small amount of vibrations from the speaker cabinet. And finally, allows for the use of included rubber pads, or even better, included spikes. If you can, go for the spikes. In most cases, for most floor materials, they minimize the speaker's vibrations from reaching the floor itself and all the equipment standing on it. The included fabric grills are magnetically attached, fairly simple, and make the speaker blend in even more. I didn't use them, as I believe that most speakers sound better with no grills between the driver and the listener. Regardless, you are free to make your own decision. Let me know in the comments if you like to use speaker grills or not. There is only one pair of binding posts though, so you can't buy wire or buy amp this speaker. But with a speaker of this level, I see very little reason to do it. Quality is the main goal here, not quantity. The Borea loudspeakers benefit from research and innovation from the Esprit Easy range, so we can see some trickle-down tech from the higher series. The Twitter itself is a regular 25mm silk dome construction with two special technologies. It is equipped with the next generation efficient flow system, which refers to the vertical face plug designed to diffuse the frequencies horizontally for a wider soundstage and less beaming effect at high frequencies. Then the dome itself is placed inside a partial horn, made to reduce reflections and allow for a clearer reproduction of the high frequencies. Its transducer is powered by a neodymium motor, known for its high magnetic power per unit of volume. Finally, it has a cooling system internally for better power handling. That's a lot for a seemingly ordinary driver. For the mid-range, Triangle used almost the same driver as in their Esprit Easy series. It's a 165mm cone made fully out of natural cellulose paper, with no surface treatment. Here, the goal was to avoid any coloration while retaining realistic vocals and tonality. As far as I'm aware, the only difference between the Borea and the Esprit Easy midrange drivers is the amount of magnets. On Borea, it's just on one side, while on Esprit Easy, it has two magnets, one on each side. About the base drivers, in this model, the BR09, we have three, 165mm each. Here, the goal was to deliver a rich and dynamic sound in the low frequencies, while not introducing any unwanted distortions. 
that's a fairly reasonable goal, especially for a floor standing speaker with multiple drivers. To achieve this, Triangle has opted for membranes in fiberglass, as their rigidity emphasizes strong impact reproduction. They have a single magnet on one side of the voice coil, unlike the Esprit Easy with two magnets as well. The BR09 is a speaker with a three-way crossover and a front bass reflex port. It's recommended for rooms above 30 meters in size. However, that's just a recommendation. In my opinion, it's going to do just fine in much smaller rooms under one condition. You can't place it too close to the rear or the side walls. Otherwise, you are going to encounter issues with bass. The recommended amplifier power for this speaker is from 60 to 300 watts at 8 ohms. I would say that you don't need nearly as much power, but as always, it's good to have some headroom. The power handling is specified to be 170 watts. That's a lot for such a speaker. It really is. The sensitivity comes at 92 decibels. That's a fairly high number, meaning you don't need to provide it with tons of power to get a decent volume level. Its nominal impedance is 8 ohms, however it drops to 3.3 ohms, but never below 3. The frequency response goes from 35 Hz to 22 kHz. Surprisingly, it's a very tonally balanced speaker. From the bass, which is not overdone, through the mids it can be described as more or less a flat line. The top end, on axis, is a little spicier than expected. The mid-range of the speaker is full of clarity and transparency. It can come off as a bit dry, and it kind of is. That's why pairing it with warmer, perhaps tube amplifiers, is a good idea. R2 R2R ducts also help with making it a tad bit more enjoyable. Anyway, the bass region has decent extension, but not a lot of presence. It's good, as they didn't push the drivers past their limits just to get crazy measurements on paper while sacrificing the bass quality. It's far from being boomy or overpowering. If you want more, you can get it by putting the speaker closer to the rear wall or by using a subwoofer. The soundstage size is pretty good for such a budget speaker. It goes quite large laterally, so left to right, with a great sense of scale to the instruments, orchestras and such. The only thing I am missing a little bit is the depth, but you can't possibly expect it to do it at this price. Summing up, it's a very balanced speaker that does pretty much everything right, sounds correct and doesn't have any real disadvantages. It doesn't require crazy amplification to perform its best, so you can save even more money on this front. The bass extension is pretty good. You probably won't need a subwoofer unless you want to. It lets you experience most songs, mostly the way you are supposed to, yet with no clear signs of coloration or other unpleasant effects.